What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Now in today's video I wanted to talk about the word cannabis, okay? And I wanted to talk about the subject of cannabis as well. But if you look at the word cannabis and you look at it carefully, it actually says can the abyss, cannabis, like the dark abyss, cannabis. So cannabis says cannabis and it helps you can the abyss, can the dark abyss. So it's really interesting that that word is like that. Uh, that's no coincidence. There's a million other words in the English language that are like this, where you can actually break them down, where you can actually find hidden meanings within them. Or oftentimes you can spell them backwards and it'll say a certain word. Uh, you know, there's many examples of this, and as time goes on, I'm going to be giving more examples. But uh, with cannabis, you know, cannabis is a medicine. <clears throat> Uh, it is a healing medicine. It helps you heal many different ailments, many different diseases, even cancers. And it also helps you become a better person. It helps you use more of the right side of your brain. It helps you see through uh, rhetoric, propaganda a lot easier. So do all the other psychedelics, really. But uh, cannabis uh, can actually can help as well. The psychedelics can help a little bit more with all of this stuff, but cannabis can actually be, be another aid to it. So, um, the thing with cannabis, though, one thing that you should know about it, and I'm sure a lot of people, you know, already know this, but it's one of these, it's one of these plants that's hard to put down. When you do it, you know, it's, it feels really good, it feels nice and relaxing, you know, and you want to keep doing it. And you'll probably want to do it, you know, the next day. And, you know, most people who use cannabis, I would say most of them tend to use it every day or most days. There are some people who don't. And there are some people who are able to do it weekly or monthly or, you know, whatever that is. Uh, me personally, <laughs> I've tried that in the past and it's never worked. I've tried doing it, you know, once a week, once a month. Like, it only lasted for a short period, and then I would give in. So that's how it is with cannabis. Uh, it does heal you. It does help deprogram your mind from all the bullshit that has been programmed into your mind from the society we lived in all our lives. So that's actually a reason why, believe it or not, in the lower-level secret societies that run our world, uh, cannabis is not allowed. Okay, because it's a deprogrammer and it actually, you know, the last thing that the secret societies want is, you know, their people to become deprogrammed from the matrix and actually, you know, become different people and become better people, you know, because cannabis can actually help you uh, conquer your inner darkness as well and it can help bring that out. And, you know, there's just, there's many different uses of cannabis, many, you know, it's been used for thousands of years. Uh, it's a medicine that works better than pharmaceutical drugs. That's the real reason why it's been illegal all this time. It also helps you spiritually, you know, same with psychedelics. That's another reason why uh, it's been illegal for the longest time. Luckily, it's legal now and it's decriminalized. However, you got to watch out because there's certain dispensaries uh, in places like L.A. and other places where they actually have GMO weed. Okay, it's like Frankenstein weed. And it can actually uh, do the opposite for your health. So you want to make sure if you're going to smoke weed, if you're going to use cannabis, you want to make sure that you're that you're uh, smoking real cannabis, real weed that's grown properly from the ground, preferably uh, weed with seeds in it. I tend to find that weed that has its seed in it tends to be more powerful, more potent, more medicinal. Uh, more CBD, stuff like that. So, <clears throat> these are all things to keep in mind uh, when it comes to cannabis. Uh, currently, you know, I've been using cannabis these last several years. It's really helped me a lot in a lot of different areas of my life. Um, it has, however, you know, become kind of a crutch, especially like these last three years I've been using it you know, almost every day, most days. I've taken some little breaks off here and there, like a week, close to two weeks. But uh, unfortunately, it's been something that uh, has been hard to let go. 
And, you know, a lot of it has to do with the ways of this world, how fucked up everything really is. You know, and luckily it's really like the only crutch that I have. I stopped drinking alcohol a long time ago. I don't use any hard drugs or anything. Um, you know, and as I've mentioned, I don't eat animal products or any chemicals, pesticides, anything like that. I'm mostly raw. So, luckily this crutch that I have with weed, it's it's like the, you know... It's really nothing to worry about compared to all the other crutches. I mean, cigarettes are way worse for you. Fast food is way worse for you. Everything else in our society, even in video games, are way worse for you. Okay, at least when you smoke weed, you want to go outside in nature, you know, and stuff like that. But, um, you know, the thing with weed, you know, it's kind of a positive and negative if you're using it every day. Yeah, it's not the best because it can make you really lazy, unmotivated. It can make you not want to do things, not want to go toward your goals as much. You know, so it does have that effect. But if you're using it in nature and you're, you know, you're on a really healthy diet and stuff, it can actually help deprogram you more the more you use it. And it can actually help heal your mind. A lot more despite the fact that you're using it every day uh, however you know I mean psychedelics can do those same thing the same thing and they're actually you know psychedelics you can't really use every day it'll lose its effect usually with those you do them once a, once a month once every few months whatever it is and you know it's always it's not it's not in the same category as weed with weed you just want to keep doing it and that's why when they say that weed is not addictive, I mean, I think that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> it's not physically addictive, like you won't go through physical crazy, you know, shaking and withdrawal like you would on heroin, but it is psychologically addictive, okay? When you don't use it, you know, you will go through withdrawal symptoms, you will be moody, you know, and stuff like that, and... I actually stopped using it yesterday. My intention is to go without it. And this is the thing with weed. When you're on the spiritual path, uh, there will come a time eventually when you'll just naturally want to get off of it. Um, you know, because it actually does withhold certain amazing feelings that you could be having. You know, certain senses it actually dims your senses a little bit, like your sense of smell is not as good because of smoking. That's why when you notice when you get off of it, your sense of smell is really enhanced. And you get those natural highs, those real highs that you're looking for. And if you're smoking weed every day, you just won't simply get those things. So, uh, you know, naturally you're going to want to get rid of it. And, you know, it's one of those things for me where if I get rid of it, you know, it's going to have to be uh, probably for good forever because if I go back to it, you know, I know that I'm just going to want to keep doing it and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so this is, this is the truth about cannabis. It is a medicine and you definitely should use it. I would say, especially if you're, you know, coming from the standard American diet, you're really plugged into the matrix, you know, you're really programmed and stuff like that. You know, I mean, heck, I would say use it for a while if you're really like heavily plugged in to the matrix and you want to deprogram, get out in nature. You might need to use it for a period of time. Some people might need to use it for psychological issues and trauma, so they might need to use it every day for a while or for a lot, most days maybe, however often. But there will come a time when eventually you're going to want to put it down, you're going to want to experience uh, natural life, and you're going to want to experience it on your species-specific diet, you know, the frugivore diet, which can ultimately give you the same highs as weed, naturally, and better, ultimately. And so, this is basically what I wanted to say about weed. It's been a crutch for me, you know, like I said, but it's not as bad as other crutches out there, certainly not as bad as, uh, you know, cigarettes. I used to smoke cigarettes for a brief period of time years ago. I, I quit. It's been years since I've used tobacco. So, um, yeah, this is something that I do plan on getting off of. It's been very hard. I'm not going to lie. But uh, as of yesterday, I've been off of it. 
we'll see what happens. But um, just keep in mind that if you're smoking weed, make sure that you're doing it for the right reasons as well. You know, don't just do it at parties and don't just do it, you know, in places like that. You want to get out in nature and you want to actually do it in a really nice place and a really nice, you know, beach or mountain or wherever it is that you're at. That's how it's supposed to be used. It's not really supposed to be used at indoor house parties with a bunch of drinking going on and stuff like that. You can still use it for those things, but uh, I just find that it's much better when you're in nature and when you're on a healthier diet, you know, then it'll give you more insight, more downloads. It'll deprogram your mind more. So, um, yeah, just keep in mind that cannabis helps you can the abyss. It helps you can the dark abyss. And it helps you, uh, it helps you on your journey. But like I said, eventually there will come a time when naturally you're probably just going to want to put it down and you're going to want to experience the natural highs and stuff like that. So, uh. Uh, just keep this in mind. <clears throat> I hope everybody's taking care of themselves, staying healthy, whether you're smoking weed or not. Hopefully that's all you're doing. Hopefully you're not drinking alcohol, which is way worse for you. Hopefully you're not smoking cigarettes, you know, and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I hope everybody's having a good day and uh, I hope everybody gets something out of this video. All right, take it easy.